in Good Samaritan News. Da, 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 da. I like those people. Uh, submitted by the noble Jamalian citizen. Oh, good job, guy. A or new girl. <laughs> Canada law gives legal immunity to people who report drug overdoses. That's good. It's overdoses. Yes. Who do you mean? When you want, when you when you're doing heroin with your best friend, and then they're starting to die, but you don't want to go to jail because you're fucking high as a mother oh. ass, then you don't want to call the popo. But now with this, like, hey, my buddy dying. Yes, I'm high. Come pick me up. They come over and they're like, I can't go to jail. Because guess what? I saved Julia's life for doing heroin. She was overdosing. Bam. I like this. Mm -hmm. It helps you, like, care for each other. You know, as, like, a country and people. Yep. That's pretty dope. How come people can't just do drugs that doesn't make you eventually look like Smeagol? Because they're the best ones. Oh, that's yeah. right. The look best crazy. drugs yep. fuck you up. Yep. They just the heroin just makes you just really it's like the ring takes over your whole life. I never did heroin. Yes, we caught. I never took it and I think I regret it a little bit. You wish you did heroin? No, cause like the needle part scares the fuck out of me. I think for me it's You're because freaking. like I, I wish I had more ex I had a lot of experiences as a kid, but I wish I had more. And now that I'm a responsible it have to be adult. Drugs, no, no, like that's what I'm saying. Like I wish I went to jail. I went. I, I wish. Those I went are to all negative. That's what I'm saying. I wish I did a lot more stuff. But since I didn't, I can't do that anymore. And now I can't even explore that I because know, I'm but responsible. The amount of negative to positive is like so much different. Just focus on this bracket. I've already been done that. So you've you've climbed. Well, who's to that? say you would have gotten that if you did that though? No, because what I'm saying is like so like because I, of my Asian upbringing, I had a perfect SAT at one point. Have I been to jail? No. That's what I'm talking about. I don't. That's I don't. I don't need like, that shit. It's like kayaking. You could do that at any age. Yeah. Skydiving. Any yeah. age. Illegal uh, shit. You can't do skydiving you at any age. You can only do under 18. Like I've been playing the piano when I was five. I'm tired of that shit. I want to jack a car. You just said you want to learn how to play the piano again. You exactly. ain't tired. Exactly. What? <laughs> What I'm saying is that classical bullshit, I'm trying to play that easy ass contemporary pop music shit. Like fucking the covers on YouTube, that's what I'm trying to learn. But back then, I already been done playing that classical shit that nobody understands. So now I need to go to jail. Yep. That's what I'm talking about. A balanced I'm life. so fucking lost. A balanced life? You don't know what a balanced life? I do know what about what the fuck are you talking about, you crazy ass person? I'm talking about I wish I did heroin. Anytime Joe agrees with you, just know that you sound fucking crazy. Nope. What? Well then I'm gonna sound crazy because I kinda agree with you a little bit too. Yep. But cause only for the experience exactly. of it. Exactly. If I can experience it and not have any repercussions, like I wouldn't. That's like, not even real. Like though. imagine there's a time machine, right? You could get in the time machine, go back, do some shit, and it's not gonna affect yeah. anything the way it is now. You yeah. can no experience it. Do it. There's no point in thinking like that because well, it's not even real. In that scenario, because there's no consequences. Yeah. I wouldn't do heroin. Like, in though. that scenario, I agree with Bart, but in like real life, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to try heroin. What if it was like yeah. something not as crazy, but like kind of like, hey, want to do some Vicodin, and you're not even in pain. <laughs> you're not even in pain. Hey, I got some Vicodin, and my arm's not broken. <laughs> I tried I that, I don't, I don't feel Vicodin. shit. I think my drug tolerance is way what too high. What the fuck, really? Vicodin is crazy, dude. I didn't feel shit either. My, uh, I mean, it just it just felt like I was relaxed. My roommate, he had like his whole fucking face pulled out, and then so he got prescribed Vicodin, and he had extra pills, so we decided to drop it together. I don't feel shit. You were a loser. <laughs> what? You know what? <laughs> That's the only response. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was crazy that they let me take that when I was nursing and Isaac was getting the Vicodin. Was it a Mexican doctor? Or Are you sure though? <laughs> no. Are you we sure? We didn't see this doctor. That's what my doctor prescribed Did the me. doctor look like Bart or the doctor look like me? Because <laughs> there's certain drugs that don't affect that. So, so it could have been one of those. No, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's crazy that Vicodin yeah. apparently it didn't work, affect yeah. it. Whenever oh, you have contractions, yeah. you should just smoke a cigarette. It'll relax. <laughs> <laughs> Mexicans are known to be druggies like that. What no, I'm about? saying I'm giving you good advice. <laughs> That's true, because whenever you want a doctor to do a little bit extra, everyone knows go to Mexico. There's that one veterinarian that calls himself a doctor, and he'll do all kinds of shit for no, you. No, everyone knows to go to the Chinese one. What are you talking about? No, no that, they always get their, their boob and butt jobs in Mexico. It's specifically Tijuana, though. You have yeah. to be specific. That's it's how not all of Mexico. Rest in peace, 
uh, Kanye West's mom. She went to TJ? She went to Mexico, I believe, for it because, and no doctor in the States would do it because they said you were going to be hurting from it or die from it. And she went, I believe, to Tijuana and then it got mm. botched. Oh, man. Tijuana's yeah. the, the worst. It is. Vanity, people. It ain't worth it. My friend used to get ketamine in Tijuana all the time. You can get anything you want in Mexico. Children. It's the land of fun. I don't anyway. condone <laughs> drug use. I'm just saying from experience, I could talk about it. I know, don't listen to Joe. He's I'll tell you him. this right now. <laughs> I didn't do a single drug, and I turned out perfectly fine. Yeah, see? David's balanced. Yeah, balanced so as fuck. I just wasn't curious. If I was curious, I probably would have done it. You were curious? When you see your friends pass out and their lips are purple, you never went, how does that feel like? <laughs> you know what sucked though? <laughs> You know what fucking sucked though? Because I wasn't curious, I always had to take care of everybody, dude. It was that fucking annoying. Suck. That does suck. It was fucking annoying, dude. You never saw your friend go purple in front of you and fucking throw up <laughs> and almost die on their own throw up? Come on, man. That's good times. That's what I had to take care of. Anyway, so the Canadian government, uh, they like, have this new the law. <laughs> it's called the Good Samaritan Drug Overdose Act. And so they're ensuring that anyone that calls 911 for in a case of an emergency of someone overdosing, uh, no one, everyone there has immunity in terms of getting prosecuted <laughs> for possessing. So children. if they're at a party and somebody fucked up <laughs> past their limits, then they can call the police, and the police not gonna investigate. Well, it's not the they're gonna investigate they're saying that they're gonna just have immunity from simple drug possession charges or violations of parole probation or pre-trial release orders but other offenses like trafficking or driving while impaired are not uh exempted from this man you're lucky you're not in the fucking philippines the third day dude you'll yeah. fucking blast your face off of that shit dude yeah, I so smoked weed. That's funny. Boom. Dead. Scary. They're, they're, That's scary. So Canada, they have like a really big um, opiate problem. Just like here in the U.S. Especially like, you know, with heroin going crazy. Mm. A lot of, like a lot of deaths. Like hundreds of deaths uh, due to fatally overdosing on heroin and stuff. So that's why they enacted this law to hopefully... Obviously, it's not going to solve the problem, but at least... <laughs> what? I, I don't know. I just did a lot of drugs, and I've been in the drug world. I just never knew anyone that did heroin. Yeah. <laughs> it's laughing it's funny. Hmm? Are you laughing about? No, because when I think of this epidemic and heroin and whatever use, right? Like I just see like that is the last resort drug. Like you're oh. under the freeway, you're fucking yeah. shooting up with AIDS needles and shit, and you're just fucking around a burning trash can and that's all you care about <laughs> while like the red hot chili peppers plays in the background <laughs> under the bridge, <laughs> under the bridge yeah is, is heroin the most extreme form of drugs i just feel like heroin uh, is the last resort drug like mm. but i don't know you it's know? the most out it's of control so drug it, it might be it might be a part of a different culture like i don't know like goth culture i don't know i might be fucking burning my own fucking self by saying that shit but it might be a part of a different group kind of like Kind of like the rave scene right now is just like alcohol, coke, and fucking like pills. It's a lifestyle. Whatever. It's a lifestyle, yeah. And then like, I don't know, the Asian girl that needs to study scene is the Adderall and fucking methamphetamines. Mm. And like, it's just different. I think it's different. So I don't know what this heroin world is and where this epidemic is happening. Because I can identify a fucking tweaker. I could identify a crackhead. I could identify a stoner. A heroin person? Not my world. Dude, have you guys seen, well, if you guys go, if you guys ever visit the great city of LA, and you fucking- God <laughs> damn it. David. What's so important right now, David? David. Airplane mode, David. What's so thought, fucking oh, important? Oh, silent and do not disturb. Always, always, David. God, we all know it's not true, it's always. It's always. always. Day. No, it's not always. You are lying. Are you My phone never goes and off. Then you think you have a floor to stand on? I am having a floor to stand on because it's so usually funny. Joe for the last three times. Yeah. Joe, thank you. In your face. That's a loyal fucking man. Fuck all you motherfuckers. It was me. And you have your Apple Watch too. Fuck about work. this phone. 
What were you saying anyway? I forgot y'all me. It's almost, <laughs> if you guys have ever been to beautiful Los Angeles. Oh California, yeah, if you guys ever go to beautiful Los Angeles, California, and you go to this place called Skid Row, you'll see something called <laughs> you'll see something called the tweaker lean or the crackhead lean. It's fucking dope. What it seems like they're falling, but somehow they don't fall. Have you ever oh, seen the that lean. shit? The lean. I thought you said yeah. leader. The lean, like Michael Jackson. <laughs> they somehow they'll catch their feet. It's fucking insane, dude. It's sorcery. Skid Row has an interesting culture. Everyone's bicycle has a stereo duct tape to it. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. And it bumps. Yeah. They got some good. I seen people in a fucking wheelchair with just one speaker, like. <laughs> And they, their legs work. Yeah. <laughs> like, they're using their legs and yeah. just like listening to music. That's so true. That's just crazy. I like Skid Row. <laughs> <laughs> we know. Your you, future home. <laughs> you can relate to them so well. You better not be missing no Just Kidding news uploads. So go down and subscribe for our channel so you can see more video. Okay? And there's another one up here. Check it out.